is part 2 of my 100 big pair challenge. In this episode I will demonstrate you my rods I'm using for perching, rods and reels actually. And also I will demonstrate you some big fish. So I think it's very very good point to stop this video, play the intro and then come back to it. Before going any further, I have to mention that when I'm filming this bit, it's 17th of January 2020. And I have to say that the conditions in the last couple months were very, very poor. Rivers were up most of the time, they were moody as well, and it's been cold. And to catch perch in the river, or any predator actually, it's very, very difficult. So the result or end result of my challenge just might end up in the failure. Of course, the whistle didn't go yet, so I will try to do my best till the end. And uh, to this minute, I have really two options, I believe. First of all, I have thinking that maybe I should invest in to some kayak. And I did my homework already, what to buy, what accessories needed for storage and transportation as well. This is purely because I noticed that some people are doing very well when it comes to catching perch, fishing in marinas and stuff where I can't actually access from the bank. So to catch numbers of big fish, that's one of the options. The second option for me would be, or solution for me would be just to spend a little bit more money to invest into some like deeper or other similar sonar and go fishing into some like big reservoirs like Rutland Water, Graham or others and catch big numbers of big perch per day as well, hopefully. So it's really uh, the two options for me now because as I said, at this point to fish in the rivers is just waste of time most, mostly. Of course, sometimes when the rain stops for three or four days, the river goes to normal level. But then <laughs> there is another problem. Pike are insanely active most of the time in those areas where perch like to be. And it just uh, seems that perch do leave those areas or at least I can't catch them, but I can't catch plenty of pike. And let's have a quick look at a couple of them pike I managed to catch. That was a nice little bite actually, a little pluck into the rod tip. Very, very nice bite. Standing very, very close to the edge here. And as you can see, it's pretty weedy over there where the fish is. Anyway, I'll give my best shot to make sure I, I land this one. Ooh. Grab my net. Ooh, wow. Such a powerful fish. And in the net she goes. Yay! Come on, relax. Not a monster, probably four pounds, maybe. Hooked as you can see nicely in the side. That's it, the hook is out, bobless as always, ready to go back. Bye bye. How about that? I hope you saw that bite. Actually it might be, yeah, I think it might be a big perch or a small pike, I don't know. Please be a big perch, please be a big perch. I ah, know it's a pike actually. Arrgh. I was hoping it will be a big perch, but it will be a pike. I will change the angle, so... Uh, what's going on in there? What is it? Oh yeah, it's a small pike. Still fighting quite well. Whoa, wow. It seems that all of the pike today, they are quite 
quite feisty. As you can see, it's insane. This fish is not as big, but it's fighting like mad. Actually, it's a little bigger than I was thinking at the start. As you can see, the lure is nicely in the scissors. Bang! We have a pike and a perch in the net. Let's try to get that pike out. Actually, that's much bigger fish than I was thinking at the start. Still will be a good 4 pounds at least, 4 or 5 pounds. And still I will have to use my tools for it as well. Let's do that. And now about the perch themselves and rods I am using to catch them perch. Before going any further, actually I have to mention that there will be only two brands I'm using. The reels will be Divas and the rods will be cooing rods. I have to mention that I'm not sponsored by any of, of those two companies and I spent money to purchase those rods out of my own pocket. So if you will decide that you are interested in those rods, I will leave the links in the descriptions. But again, I'm not sponsored by any of those companies. I just like their products and I think that they are they are sold at fair price and I like them. So let's go. I will start with the lightest rod I have. That's my ultra light. Actually, it's heavy ultra light and it's a cooing super light edging rod. And uh, it's quite long rod actually. It's seven foot and six inches. And the casting rating is from 0 0.6 grams to 10 grams. And uh, it's just a beautiful rod in my opinion. It works for me very, very nicely and I quite like the handle and everything. It's just very, very comfortable as you can see. Very, very beautiful rod. It has fast action, but not too fast. It's not crazy fast. So if I hook big fish on light lines, I'm fine. I can, I can cope with that. And as for the reel, at this point I have put on this rod a Diva Ballistic 2000. So that's a very very light reel, about 160 grams and you need quite light reel with this beautiful rod otherwise it will feel unbalanced. And uh, this rod also has a spliced tip, spliced carbon tip and bite indication on the tip and sometimes into the hand if the bite is a little bit more aggressive is very very good. I quite like this rod. In general that's by far my most favorite ultralight rod when it comes to catching perch by far really and I used some uh, quite quite a bit more expensive than this one. And now uh, as I covered one rod I think it's a very very good time to go and show you a couple perch I managed to catch towards my 100 big perch challenge. Right guys today is 28th of December 2019 and uh, I am still chasing them big perch. I just managed to one decent fish even though it was over a, a month I caught something as big. I caught plenty of smaller ones like pound plus but nothing which would be two pounds plus or over 40 centimeters. But uh, I have in my net not only that but also I have very very big pike. I, will, uh, I think it will be about 12 pounds maybe. So I will pull those fish out of the water. Hopefully my pike still is in the net and uh, yeah, I'll try to show them for you. Just give me a sec. I don't know how well you can see but it's super muddy everywhere. So yeah, I will start with the Mr. Perch. Come on. It's not very long but it's very very fat fish. As you can see, bang, beautiful. Very, very fat fish. And now Mr. Pike. I think I will have to wait this pike because it might be my personal best. Yeah, that's a very, very heavy fish. Wow, impressive. Impressive, really. Be good double. And this one fought like mad. One more look at the perch. So yeah, that's a number seven for me. As you can see from my outfit, it's not very warm at all and it's very muddy. Anyway, today it's uh, 29th of December 2019 and I just managed 
my number eight big perch so yeah I have my mat here on the floor and I will pull that fish out of the water that beauty is resting in the net so yeah I will pull it out and show it for the camera that's absolute beautiful fish very very nice colors on it so yeah let's have a look wow guys <laughs> that's something I mean the dorsal fin is damaged probably this beauty was in the fight with some pike recently but it but he won actually so bang how about that guys beautiful just look at them colors green and and yellow and those very very bright at the bottom here wow look and he's getting aggressive as well impressive it's just impressive not in the best condition but very very angry one thank you it's the second rod i use for my perching but actually i bought this rod not for perching that's a very very long rod it's you know what, uh, let me take a minute and explain why I'm using those, uh, those NGT, they have neoprene like sockets and why I use them. Basically I think they are must and I use them for every single rod I use, for carp rods, lure rods as you can see and uh, feeder rods, match rods, uh, match rods, every single rod I use have these socks on. When you have a sock on it's very very difficult to breaks the rod so and you can throw it around in, in your car's boot etc very very simple cheap and just product very cheap product which will help to catch you more fish because obviously you won't be risking to break your rods and get annoyed etc when you go fishing your rod is safely when you arrive at your peg you take the rod out of the well or take those soft uh, socks away from the rod and you are fishing and now about the second rod i'm using for my perching as i said that's a very very long rod i bought it for sea fishing and chub fishing when you have to cast very far so that's a cooing super light aging rod as well uh, just a heavier version that's a, that's a very long rod as i mentioned eight feet six inches and casting rating is from point 0 0.8 to 15 grams as you can see that's quite a powerful rod for for a perch fishing and this rod has a beautiful handle as well oh and i still have one of my lures on i was i was piking with this rod well piking or perching whichever really takes a lure using this rod and the handle will really is very very nice i really like it and bite indication on this rod is just second to none really because this rod has a, a a tubular tip i don't know how well you'll be able to see but just uh, that's fully tubular tip and as i said the bite indication just is insane if if the fish takes the lure a little bit more aggressively you will feel like proper bang through the rod very very beautiful rod uh, and i use this rod when i don't know what I will be really catching whether it will be a pike or when I just need very 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 big uh, big and heavy like weight as well because I wouldn't be able to get away with my ultra light rod so that's a medium and very long medium as well so when I need to cast a little bit further maybe for perch and uh, again I'm not too sure whether it will be perch or pike the fish which will take my lure it will be and then I use this rod basically and uh, again this rod has very very fast action and uh, just beautiful rod probably one of my favorite rods as well when it comes to like medium lure rods and now as I covered the second rod let's have a look at a couple more perch maybe I have just landed my number nine in 100 big perch challenge it's exactly at 40 centimeters and it will be over a kilo as well it's very very fat fish beautiful wow well happy with this one oh and and he's actually getting all aggressive impressive very impressive come on go all aggressive 
Wow, guys. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, 91 to go. I will chuck this one back now. How about that? I managed my second big perch of the day. This one actually is a little bit bigger at 42 centimeters. Very fat fish as well. Wow. Number 10 for me at my 100 big pair challenge. 90 to go. Impressive fish, very healthy as, as well, as you can see. Beautiful. Mwah. The third rod I will talk about, that's uh, Queen Teton TTS 662 Lite. So, this rod is the first rod I bought from this company, Kuing, and uh, I put, at this point I have a Diva Fuego 2500. Uh, and also I forgot to mention about the previous rod. On that rod, uh, the reel was the same as on this rod, so it's Diva Fuego LT 2500. Even though this rod is short, it's about two meters just under, and the casting rating is from 2 to 10 grams and it has a tubular tip. That's the cheapest rod I have but it's it's still very good and I use it when I when I don't really know what I will be doing in terms of presentation. This rod is very very good for like general jigging when you want to lift your lure and get it bouncing on the bottom. It's very good for that and also it's very good for like small cranks and stuff because action on this rod is medium fast. It's not fast. Even though it's medium fast, the, the bite indication is very, very good because it's a tubular tip as I mentioned. But that medium fast action enables the angler to present the lure in different ways. This rod is not very good when, when you want to twitch the the lure because obviously for that you need a fast action and also solid tip this doesn't have uh, doesn't have that but uh, again when you not too sure whether you will be fishing as i said like bouncing your lure on the bottom or maybe dragging slowly or using uh, like rank baits and presenting your lure in the middle of the water somewhere or on the top that's my first choice and also as it's very cheap and short I quite like to take it uh, onto the boats uh, etc because if I will lose it, it it won't be as big of like loss if you like it won't be as expensive to replace it and I have to say that this rod probably has my favorite hang handle assembly you can get very very minimal just a uh, Fuji real seat and uh, you, when you grab the rod seems that every finger falls just nicely into the place and you can put your, well, I don't know, point, pointy finger onto the blank and feel every single indication just beautiful. Again, uh, I will do the reviews of every of these rods I am talking about now separately and I will cover more details actually. But now I'm just showing those rods in terms of how I use them for my big perch fishing. As I covered my number three rod, let's have a look at one more perch. Right, I just managed my number three for today, which is exactly 40 centimeters. And yeah, uh, it's not completely dark yet, but we are getting there and I had to put a light on my camera. Oh, look. He is aggressive beast. Come on. How about that guys? Big perch and very aggressive one. Awesome. So yeah, 89 to go. Yes. And the last rod I want to show you, it's not really actually a perching rod. That's, that's a beast of a rod. Funny story though, uh, I obtained this rod from my 
friend Thomas, he he wasn't using it and he sold me for a dinner. So and I think we went to McDonald's. So it was about six seven pounds something like that. And this rod is fantastic when when I need like powerful rod. And about the rod itself, that's a queen tournament rod. Uh, heavy rod and casting weight is wow it's an ounce it, it says up uh, up to one ounce but I know that uh, you can do a little bit more with this rod it will one ounce is 28 grams so I'm sure that you will be able to cast about 40 grams with this rod yeah uh, exactly seven feet so two meters and ten I will quickly take this rod out and as you can see the reel is Diva TDR that's a big reel. I, I took actually this reel from my feeder because I just checked and it uh, like the balance was right when I put this reel on. So yeah, Diva TDR 3000. Big, heavy and powerful reel and very, very reliable. As I said, I use this reel for my feeder fishing. As you can see, this rod has a relatively longer handle, but still for my kind of hand size, still uh, I am able to hold it properly very very simple rod and uh, I use this rod really for piking but sometimes as I mentioned already in some areas pike are very very active and those pike are mixed with perch from time to time and you have to fish heavy use heavy rods and like 30 to 40 pound fluorocarbon leaders to try to catch perch of course you will catch maybe five pike to one perch but that's the only option if you will try to fish light for perch you will get even more pike and they will bite you through and uh, it will be a little bit messy because to land those big pike like double figure pike on light tackle it's just uh, not really easy and they will mess up your peg so they will be da uh, darting around and will scare all the perch and with the heavy stuff you land that big pike even though they sometimes go very very big you land them very quickly with no fuss at all and uh, your peg is less disturbed if you like. And it will be it from me for today. I hope you have found this video useful. If it wasn't useful, at least it was funny to listen to my broken English. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.